everyone. My name is Rachel Sadler Woods, the creator of Hashtag no Sad Desserts. And a few weeks ago, I celebrated Juneteenth with some friends and family. And of course, the celebration included desserts. Let me share it with you. I picked up my treats from La Patisserie Choquette, a French bakery here in St. Louis. This is my second year visiting Choquette in celebration of Juneteenth. My friend Megan and I stopped in for a visit last year. Here's some video and pictures from 2019. This year we invited our friend Cassie to join us. I hadn't seen either of them face to face since the pandemic social distancing guidelines went into effect back in March. For me, there haven't been a lot of reasons to celebrate in 2020. However, getting together with good friends and reflecting on the spirit of Juneteenth over a box of desserts, yes, that sounds like a good time. When the team at Choquette announced that they would be selling a Juneteenth box, I knew I wanted this in my life. So I thought, great, we can get the box, we can go visit family, order some lunch, eat some cake, and the Juneteenth love will go on and on and on and on and on. Let's get into the box. First, we have the banana pudding and the strawberry shortcake trifle. I had the trifle and it was so tasty. And I also love how these were served in these see-through containers. It just looks so pretty to me. Next is the cheddar and bacon cornbread muffin and the sweet potato pone, which was the treat I was most excited for. So when I saw the pone, I thought, okay, this reminds me of what I know to be sweet potato souffle with the marshmallow topping. So if you know the distinction between sweet potato pone and sweet potato souffle, please comment below with your response because I'm curious to learn. The box also included a slice of red velvet cake and some 7-Up cake. I was able to sample both of those and I really like the 7-Up cake. And finally, we have the tea cake and the blackberry dumplings. I didn't think I was gonna be able to sample the blackberry dumplings dish, but luckily for me, there was a half serving left over in the fridge. So I was able to warm that up and eat it with the last tea cake that we had. The blackberry sauce was tart and citrusy and the tea cake was light and sweet and they really provided like the perfect complement to one another. So all in all, I'm glad that I went ahead and got the box. There was enough in there for everybody to sample whatever they wanted to sample. I sampled pretty much everything. And I will say this, the box also came with um, like a Fenty uh, hibiscus tea, like an iced tea. And I shared that with Justin and it was sweet and refreshing and delicious and it was perfect. It's the middle of June here in St. Louis and it's warm and yeah, that was, and that was just like a lovely way to end like my entire Juneteenth Showcat box. It's wonderful to support black owned business, um, especially on the holiday of Juneteenth when, you know, it's just, it, it, for me, it's just, a, it's, a, it's just an opportunity to reflect on freedom here in America for descendants of enslaved Africans. It fills me with so much hope and joy and faith in putting in the work into making sure that, you know, the future generations are experiencing liberties that, you know, past generations just didn't have that opportunity to experience. And the fact that a local business here in St. Louis is um, creating an, a, a space for us to reflect on that you know, by these, creating these wonderful like desserts that are like rooted in like Southern uh, black traditional cooking and baking uh, is just fantastic for me. And it, it's just, oh, it's, this is my second year. I'll be back next year and it'll just turn into a little tradition for myself and that'll be fantastic. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm just so thankful to the team at Choquette. They're, they're fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram at hashtag no sad desserts. Give a like to this video if you like sweet potatoes and subscribe to my channel if you love desserts. All right, until next time, take care all.